You know, there are so many fun niches in content now. You know, there's real estate agents that used to be full-time selling houses that now just do YouTube videos because their house tour videos blew up so much. There are people that are famous for building robots like Michael Reeves. But a question I find myself asking pretty often is, where are the cologne influencers? Where is the scent content? You know, when I'm standing at a Nordstrom looking at a wall of cologne and I'm trying to smell like a million bucks, who's gonna guide me? Who's gonna show me the way? Well, that question finally has an answer and his name is Jeremy Fragrance. Potentially the only fragrance influencer in the world that I've seen. He makes scent related content. Three cheap perfumes for women. Ariana Grande Cloud, buy this one. It smells just like a $300 fragrance. And this is $30. This is also $30, Britney Spears Fantasy. It smells like your typical sweet, sexy, flirty, girly fragrance. How helpful is that, right? Who doesn't want to smell like a sweet, sexy, flirty girl? I want to smell like a sweet, sexy, flirty girl. If anybody wants to gift me 500 bottles of this, I would love to take them. This is Invictus Aqua 2016. It's discontinued, meaning you can't buy it anymore. It's like, an, like a wine that you can't buy anymore. It is a super long lasting, huge compliment getter and I don't get it why they reformulated it. Get this if you can get it for under $100. Okay, hold on. At the beginning of that video, he said, if anyone has 500 bottles of this cologne that they could gift me, they should do that. If anybody wants to gift me 500 bottles of this, I would love to take them. Why? One bottle of cologne lasts 20 years on average. Why would you need 500 bottles? Are you gonna sell them? Is, do you have a store? That's kind of what I thought at first. I was like, oh, this is his like cologne store, but you go to his website and it's just an online store for his own scents. Like for example, this gentleman's lounge scented candle for $157. Is that candle supposed to smell like a strip club? I don't think I want that. Or how about this $96 deodorant? Let's check out the bundles. Full Armageddon. <laughs> Come on, Jeremy, you never go full Armageddon. So if there's no physical store and you're not selling these fragrances online, then is that your apartment behind you? Do you just have shelves packed with bottles of perfume at your place? I don't understand. I've always wondered what the proper cologne applying technique was, and that's it right there. Boom, 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 one on the back, and then you say a word loudly. <laughs> it can be whatever, I'm assuming, from this. Like, he says, power! 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 That's pretty hard. Power! That feels pretty good, honestly, to say like that, but I'm guessing it could be anything, you know? It could be, like, whatever, you know, I, you know, he puts them on before you go to the club. I am gonna fuck tonight! R.I.P. that pussy! Just ks, 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 ks. I have a big dick! Ks, 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 ks. I make good YouTube videos! Ks, 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 ks. Bring back that cringe! No! I'm feeling that. Holy shit. I feel I, like I have a whole new energy right now. This guy's onto something. Guys, when I'm buying a brand new cologne or anything else really, I do it online. And that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. It's a free browser extension that scours the web for promo codes and automatically applies them every time you shop online. Here's how it works, it couldn't be easier. You get Honey on your computer for free in two clicks. And then once you're checking out on one of the 30,000 supported websites, Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons and Honey will search for coupon codes. And if it finds one, it'll apply it and then you'll just watch the prices drop. You'll just watch yourself save money. Oh gee, there's another dollar, there's another dollar, there's another dollar, thank you. I use it every single time I shop online. Anytime I'm buying anything for the studio or whatever, uh, I use it and it saved me a ton of money. And the people that have already installed Honey using my link have found over $3.1 million in savings. And you can start saving money too. Just go to joinhoney.com slash Cody Co. Thanks Honey for sponsoring today's video. All right, back to the fragrance master. Oh, oh, maybe this is the proper way to apply it. I see. Okay. Hmm. Power. All right. He doesn't only make fragrance related stuff, though. He is human. He likes to make other content as well, like this. I'm going to eat now 10 dates. Power. 
Dates are so tasty. This my all right. So this is my tenth one. <clears throat> Power. I feel the sugar. I feel the energy. I love dates. Man, the fact that one of those clips just cuts off mid sentence is so funny. Like, how do you review that while you're editing and you think, yeah, that's fine. I mean, people will get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I also love that you don't even get to see him eat it. Clearly power, that's his like tagline that he uses all the time. Like, that's so sick. I, I need to think of one. I need to think of one that I could use repetitively, you know? Let's think like, man, these chicken fingers are busting. Chug! No, that one doesn't feel too good. What about like, um, oh, what about something like, like, hey babe, I'm going to the gym. Come! No, because then she'd be like, okay, I'll come. You're like, no, no, I'm saying, like, cunt, like, jizz, like, cum, jizz. But you can come if you want. Hey, Dad, yeah, listen, um, I need some money. Cum! <laughs> yes, I love Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, nice push-ups, baby. Work out every day. Every day you have to train. Every day you have to eat healthy. Every day you have to challenge yourself, baby. I mean, this is just so perfect. Is it not perfect? It's like, if this was satire, it wouldn't be as good. It, it's so great that it's this is him. It's just him. Also, funny note about this video is that he posted this on March 24th, 2020. That's about a week after the stay-at-home orders were put into place. And he just shows no sign of fear. or Like, the rest of us were huddled in our houses, like so uncertain for the future just like i don't know i don't want to fucking die i don't want to go outside and he's just on the beach doing one-armed push-ups in an all-white fit just not even concerned that there isn't anyone else at the beach he's just like kind of a ghost town over here but every day baby every day now i'm thinking this guy might be more of like a life coach than anything else you know helping us be better now let's watch his most absurd tiktok ever you might have seen this one because it went pretty viral um this is where his content starts to get a little bit weird not that the last video wasn't that weird, but you know, you'll see. This song memorizes for me pain and growth. I had a woman, she tried to sue me for rape. I'm sorry, what's up? My father died. A guy totally financially destroyed me. I had experience with gay people and these gay people tried to, you know, they tried to, how do you say that? Do... Maybe just take two, you know? Just take it again, brother. Take it again. This one, this one's not working. Like, force me to do stuff, or otherwise they will tell. No, I'm not afraid of this whole shit. You see, guys? If you go through the deepest of the deepest, then, and you survive, then you can... Fuck life, baby! You can fuck life! And you have a boner! Love it! Power! This dude's pants are so tight, I think I actually just saw him fuck life. I think I saw that happen right there. This could be the horniest guy ever, to be honest. He's so horny, just for life. Uh, like, you know, this, this that video was hornier than most girls' comment sections. And what was up with that bomb he dropped right at the beginning? Way to go 0 to 60. Oh my god. Video starts. You have some trumpet kind of, you know, uplifting music in the back, and he's like, girl tried to sue me for sexual assault. Oh my god. What? And then doesn't say whether or not it, it like, he's guilty? <laughs> Just goes on to the next one. What? Also, my father died, and gay guys tried to blackmail me. Oh, and gee, did I also mention how I was completely destroyed financially? <laughs> that has to be one of the most bizarre videos I've ever seen. It's, I, that is energy that I've never seen in my entire life. He also posts on YouTube, too. And uh, here's a Q&A video he did today, actually. This was a live stream that he did today, and I, I was able to catch it, and I was like, damn, this is great. Kicking, fucking, sex, baby, love, freedom, baby! Kicking, fucking, sex, baby, love, freedom. Sounds like the lyrics to some EDM song or something, doesn't it? Kicking, fucking, sex, love, freedom, baby, yeah. Kicking, love, sex, freedom, baby, yeah. Sex, love, and matcha tea, bitches! Yes, let's kick it off with some questions right here. The three, the three horsemen of life. 
sex, love, and matcha tea bitches. Let's kick some ass with some questions right here. I'm filled with good energy. My ass is filled with energy to the fullest, man. I got the energy. <laughs> Fuck, that's so good. My ass is filled with energy. Damn, that's, I would wear that on a shirt. Hey guys, Jeremy Fragrance here. Best fragrance for every age range. We got the teenager years right here, the whatever corporate professional years right here, and here you have the big baller, big boss years. Hell yeah, big boss, big balls. That's, that's, that's that generation, you know? Big boss, you're moving up in the company, big balls, you know, your balls start to sag and grow and you road bike a lot, so they're compressed against your body a lot, so they're hot and saggy all the time. So that's when I would suggest wearing Dolce & Gabbana. You know, so many people are leaving LA recently that it kind of makes me think, should I do the same? You know, maybe move to Miami? I mean, Jeremy moved there. Let's see what he thinks. Is it a good place? It's cool, but the showers are definitely not cold enough. This is funny to you, but if you get us, if you go into a 55 degrees cold plunge and like me just, <laughs> and then do a video, I'm much more alive than I was two minutes ago. It's ah, good thing he warned me. It would be a shame to move my entire life to a new city just for the showers to be too damn warm. Ugh. Ah, oh, wait a minute, is it getting all hot and steamy in here? Ah, oh, forget it, this is bullshit. The city sucks. When I first moved into this house, the water heater was broken. We didn't have hot water. And it ruled, it ruled. And now we got it fixed and it's fucking hot. So lame. So what's his decision? Is it good? I know the warm shower thing is kind of a turn off, but what do you think, Jeremy? Is Miami a good place to live? If it's good or not. Well, yeah, it is good. It is fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. You know, you could have, you could have just chopped that out of the video. I don't know. <laughs> do you not edit these? Or you do, because they look great. You clearly color them a little bit or something. You know what? Here, let me fix it for you. If it's good or not. Well, yeah, it is good. It is fantastic. Power! All right, I think we've seen enough Jeremy for today. It's, it's safe to say he still confuses the absolute shiz out of me. But I think we'll end on my absolute favorite clip of him, which I've saved until now. And you know what I just did five minutes ago? I stimulated my penis. Not that I came, but I was on my Instagram, I was chatting with girls, and dum <laughs> I can't even, I can't even. I stimulated my penis. And then not that I came? Not that I came though. I mean, obviously I didn't come. What do you think, I'm some kind of sicko? That's a good, that's a good one actually. That's a good one. Not that I came! <laughs> Just eating dates. Oh, these are so good. Not that I came though! Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching people. Come! No, not that I came!